So, and welcome my friend, and then, how often I must do and should do replace this Toyota Prius car's engine and motor oil? The answer is that in every 10,000 miles or 15,000 kilometers, and then use this mobile one oil because it is the best one and let's go to look closer at that stuff. It's excellent oil for Toyota Prius 5 W30 and replace that within every year or then within every 10,000 miles or 15,000 kilometers. And then you can see that how this job happens. Okay, and now we are in looking this engine pillow area and really this oil drying bolt its location is in here, that one, in that bolt, and we need now 14 millimeter bolt, and I take that socket next. Okay, and there is really this run out bolt, and there is my 14 millimeter, little bit longer bar tool, and opening happens so that in this direction, in that way, and and in this direction, this is the rotation, like in this way, like in, I start that and then in front area. And then I rotate that, and next I need waste canister, and I drain out this stuff. Okay, here I have my waste canister, and really there is about four quarters and then use protective blows and now I open this my bolt and there oil comes out and it takes like five minutes and after that when oil drying stops we can go to replace this and remove this oil filter also. Okay, and then when we have this oil drying bolt, there is small fuzzer in here inside, but it's actually in here, in this my oil sump, and it is good to replace this, this uh, gasket and this seal, because if we, we, if we don't replace this small gasket and fuzzer, then we might have oil leak in this oil drying bolt area. And we can get these new fuzzers from Toyota dealership center. It, it costs about one to two dollars per piece. Okay. Okay, and then when oil drying stops, we need to clean that our oil drying bolt with clean cotton cloth. All dirt is away in inside, in that way. And then we install this our bolt in this position and we tied this bolt using our friends and this force is 30 to 40 newton meters this force if we have torch friends tool. Here is my torch friends tool. We can tie this also by hand if, if we don't have this tool but if we use that tool, then we can be sure that force is 40. And when we hear the sound... Okay, now it says that there is 40. If we use a little bit this, uh, like, 20 centimeters, this spanner, we can tighten that well. But uh, do not over tighten because there is risk that this bolt can go broken. Okay, and then now old oils are, engine oils are away. Next we have to take oil filter away or then we install in this engine only new oils. But it is good if we have this filter that we replace also oil filter. Okay, an oil filter. 
it is in very near of this oil drying bolt. There's oil sump. This is oil filter. And we need now some tool or pick pliers. But I might have this specific opening tool what fits in here. And this is oil filter. And now we need like some oil filter, this opening tool what fits in there the sides like in this this my tool and now I need to press that up and in my case there is socket position 27 millimeter socket and this filter opens in this direction but I rotate that in this way this is the opening direction and note that this is oily and that's I need again this my oil sump in here and now I rotate that away but soon oil comes out okay and there is this my oil oil sump this oil canister and now I rotate that and I keep that in up force is up and I rotate this direction and now we can see that oil is coming look and that's it's good that I have this canister and also protective gloves because engine oil is harmful now I rotate in this way and soon be ready that this oil filter it can drop to our head and that's keep distance in here and this is and, and then we can take actually this some cotton cloth in here okay and now I have in here cotton cloth and when I install this stuff in here in that way now I can easier rotate and there is no it is no so oily mess okay and now filter is in my hand look and then oil comes again out and that's it is good to be this oil waste canister and there is really this my filter and now I take it away and I install that in ground okay and then we can look ground position oil is really dropping down and that's it good that we have this plastic canister where this filter is oil filter and look that it is full of oil and we need similar new filter and I have that kind of filter and we can right away install this filter new filter in back okay and there is really this position and now I use this man filter what is good also and there is this da type W68 the eight and divided three and of course Toyota's filter is best one but this this one is okay and then I open this package and this is re almost ready for use only what I need is that I have to lubricate this black gasket and I can take little bit mobile one oil in my finger there is oil in my finger and now I install carefully this oil in this black ring this is enough and now this filter is ready for installation and it goes directly in here and then I only rotate rotate that using my fingers in that way and we can actual, actually add this filter also full of engine oil it is the better and next I will do that job okay and really we have to fill this filter so that it is full of engine oil that one and now as we can see that there is oil coming out and this is important because otherwise 
when we start our engine, there can be short engine failure risk. And that's always add your oil filter full of the same oil what we you are adding. And now when we I use this cotton rack, and now there is thing that that firstly I typed this filter using my fingers. This is the thing. That how tight I add. Now now I I use my fingers and now it's tight and then I should rotate that about more half rotation. Okay and really this final tight for oil filter firstly we use that by my fingers and after that I have to rotate that almost one turn and now I have excellent pencil but you should also purchase solid marker from Amazon and, and now I do in here marking because this rotation is in that way I do in here small arrow in this area and also in here and now I have to rotate this arrow almost in here that area in this direction like in almost one turn but not so much like 75 percent okay and then I take my tool that I can rotate okay and there is this my tool I install my tool in, in here and then I rotate that in like one I start in here and then like in that area in this way okay now now I had wrong rotation in this way this is the tight a little, little bit more good and then we check that how much there is this this amount left this is the starting point and now I rotated this stuff in, in almost in here yes this is good good amount like 70 percent okay and now oil filter is in position and it is tight and next step is to add this engine oil now when we have add this new engine oil then it is important that we start our engine and then we check this area in here we clean firstly all of these areas carefully that there is no any oily things before that starting and then when engine is running we check that there is no any oil dropping ground in this oil drying bolt or then in this oil filter area and if we can see any dropping then we have to stop immediately engine and replace new oil filter and also new gasket or new drying out bolt drying out bolt and we can get both of these stuff from Toyota dealership centers and now we are in engine area and there is this oil this adding oil cap hat and we have to open that and it might be spiked and we need pliers okay and there is my pliers and opening direction is in carefully in this way and now it opens this bolt and let's look a little bit bigger you also that how this job happens there is really that sometimes we need pliers and carefully this is plastic cap hat and in this way I open that bolt and there is this cap hat and it is good to install in here that it don't drop and then we need funnel okay, and there is my funnel this is easier because it is not good that we add oil in there 
up area in engine area this engine cylinder head area because there is risk of fire if we add oil in this engine upper parts areas and now i have funnel and then i need really same amount what i had this is old oil and there looks like that there is like four four these liters almost it is like four point half quarters engine oil i need more in here and this oil adding happens so that when we have this mobile one we start to grind in in this oil in there carefully in that way we add oil in there and we check that there is no any oil leaking in here in the side areas and let's look at what I mean adding in here oil we have to check that there is no any oil leaks when we add this oil in this four liters or four point five quarters in their inside and then when I have dried in this amount we can see that there is no any leaks but small spider is walking in there and it is spider is living in my engine area but it is not the issue okay and now I add this oil and then we check finally oil level and final part is that we have to check this oil level dipstick that this oil level is in this upper part area and now I clean that area and there is two dots small low level and up level and oil must to be in always this higher dot and now I add this my dipstick in here and then we go to look at how much there is oil now we check clean cotton cloth I take dipstick and now this oil it must be in this upper dot level and now we can see that in my case it is not it's almost there and I have to add in here like half quarters that this oil is in this upper dot what is in here we can see small dot in there in that level and now I add in there a little bit more oil that we are in this upper level now I add this oil and now I take this dipstick again away and we check and now yes now everything is fine now oil level is in up position and let's look closer and now we can look closer that we can see that where is this up level when we change a little bit that we can see that this oil level is just in this upper position in here in that area look okay and everything is cool and now this oil replace is almost ready final part is that we remove this funnel and then we have this cotton cloth and we remove all oily spots in all areas and final step is that we install this oil cap hat in back in that way and let's go to look closer there is this oil cap hat and this tight and when we tight this oil cap hat we use only our fingers not anymore we installed that so tight then we could because if we use pliers there is risk that we can damage this oil cap hat and really final part is that I have to clean all spots also in here if there's any oily things all oily oil away because there is risk 
that engine fire happens. And that's it is important. 